Hey you guys, Tim here. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate that. I wanted to take a minute, show you guys my uh, Grizzly G0759 milling machine. I bought this uh, about two and a half years ago. At that time I was a complete newbie to machining and uh, but this has been a godsend. I'm really happy that I bought this machine. You know, for the money, it's a pretty good deal. It's it's pretty good. I love the DRO. I don't think I would want to buy something like this that didn't have a DRO. I know a lot of guys are converting the 704 machines over, and that looks really cool. And um, I would like to do that myself, maybe at some point. Although now I really don't need to, because I designed this which does everything I need it to do so for me that it, that's working out but um, I don't think that you would want to convert a 759 over to CNC maybe, maybe I'm wrong but um, if you spent the money on the DRO would that not go to waste if you converted the machine over to CNC I, mean, I don't know but um, I'll tell you a little bit about me I design electronic embedded equipment obviously and uh, I've been doing that for a long time. I write software and assembly language. If I can help any of you guys with any other projects or anything, please let me know. I'd be happy to see if I can help you. Um, what led me to design this? Um, when I first bought this machine, I was just doing simple miscellaneous stuff, nothing too serious. But I started to get serious with it, working on some parts because I had to. I have another system my angel ECU system that I designed which is a super you know it's a powerful control system for people that have severe disabilities really it's a wonderful thing so many things it can do to help those people it's great it's a small niche market but anyway um, I started to make pieces for that case and when I started to do something you know more serious on here just, it was just killing me, the hand crank going up and down. And up. I mean, you're constantly changing the bit and, uh, you know, up and down and up and down and up and down. And that's what led me. I was thinking, man, I got I to gotta do something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a power lift system. But I tend to get carried away. And uh, so I ended up controlling the whole machine. And I allow you to create operations, which can automatically machine parts. So you can store 112 operations in here. Each operation can have up to approximately 290 moves. And um, it's all straight line stuff. It cannot do curves and arcs and stuff like that. So I may look into trying to do that, but I didn't think I could do it perfectly because of backlash compensation. This has backlash compensation built into it though. And there's, a, there's some cool stuff with that I'll show you later on. I'm going to do a series of videos on some of the different features. So stay tuned. And um, you'll, if you're interested, you can learn a lot more about it. But, um, <clears throat> but anyway, the, um, what I've done for the Z-axis is that, you know, you can control the whole machine with a joystick. And, and I have a button here, the Z-return key. So when you first boot this thing up, it boots up with the Z return and red alarm because it doesn't know where the, the power head is. So you're supposed to move the power head up to the top and then you just touch the key and you set that position. But I also have a memory position here and the purpose of this, super easy to set. You just move the power head down to the position that you want you know, a specific distance above the workpiece, right? That's the idea. And then you just press and hold the key for like a half a second and it stores that location. And now you can go up and down in between just at the touch of a key. So if I want to go down, just one touch. Got my clear path up there. Um, and that's it. Now I'm a specific distance above the workpiece. But if I want to get the power head out of the way, just one touch, Z return. <clears throat> and you can get in there and do what you got to do. Uh, so that's the power lift feature. And um, I'm going to do, again, you know, a series of videos. So 
well, let me know if you have any thoughts. If you want, uh, if you want me to add something in there, um, or again, if I can help you with anything, uh, do let me know. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it.